This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Saturday, April the 20th, 2019. It's the birthday of two formidable Catholic women, St. Rose of Lima in 1586 and Mother Angelica in 1923. St. Rose was born in Peru as Isabel Flores de Olivia to a Spanish cavalry officer and a Creole mother. Her parents were notoriously strict and even violent with their discipline. Rose claimed to be able to see her guardian angel from her youth and had a reputation for mystical spiritual happenings. She was confirmed by St. Toribio de Mongrovejo, and after being accepted as a Dominican, she was close to St. Martin de Porres and St. John Macias. All through her life, she was connected with penance and mysticism. After her death, stories spread far and wide about miracles she had worked for people and about the miracles occurring at her tomb when people would come to pray. Her feast day is August the 23rd, and her chapter in the book Visionaries, Mystics, and Stigmatists Down Through the Ages by Bob and Penny Lord is wonderful reading. The other formidable woman of the day is Mother Angelica, Born Rita Antoinette Rizzo today in 1923 in Canton, Ohio, she grew up in one of the many Rust Belt communities which was part African American and part Italian immigrant. Her dad was a tailor, but Rita was a child of divorce, which was rare for the time. She grew up poor, and her mother was an outcast and chronically depressed. She went to a convent school, but she didn't really like the nuns. They were, quote, the meanest people on earth. As a teenager, Rita was miraculously healed of a painful and untreatable stomach condition, which eventually led her to the convent. She joined the Poor Clares in Cleveland and became Sister Angelica of the Annunciation. In 1957, after a strong impulse and prayer to reach out to the poor black population in the South, she founded a convent in Birmingham. She frequently gave impassioned talks to the local community, and in 1962, she began recording the talks for sale to fund the mission. Soon after, she began doing radio broadcasts. In 1981, she visited a TV station in Chicago, and EWTN was born. EWTN, the Eternal Word Television Network, grew alongside the popularity and the ideology of Pope St. John Paul II. It was not the standard 1980s social justice Catholicism, which was all too often embarrassed by traditional Catholic teachings on dogma and morality. In fact, when Roger Cardinal Mahoney of Los Angeles wrote a pastoral letter with questionable teachings about the Holy Eucharist and the liturgy, Mother Angelica launched an on-air tirade against him and against other liberal bishops whom she compared to Judas. Despite backlash among the bishops, EWTN grew quickly and it grew widely. In 1992, EWTN added a radio network, and today, after her death in 2016, Mother's Vision reaches about 264 million households all over the world. Two tragedies happened today in the U.S. about 10 years apart. In 1999, teenagers Eric Harris and Dylan Claybolt went to school as usual at Columbine High School, but they brought with them handguns and killed 13 people and injured 24 more before committing suicide. Students who were present say the boys specifically asked certain students if they believed in Jesus before shooting them dead. Also today, in 2010, the test drilling rig Deepwater Horizon exploded in the Gulf of Mexico, killing 11 workers and beginning an oil spill that would last six months. Neither of those tragedies was the first of their kind, but both spurred major governmental action. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time... Be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.